right, super exciting. We are here today with a place that's near and dear to my heart. Lindsay, I had to represent Bemidji State for you today. I got my hoodie on, I got my mug out. Um, how are things going for you? Things are going well. We're adjusting to work, work from home, um, but just staying really connected with our students as best we can. Um, so it's been an adjustment, but we're rolling with it. Yeah, I think that's kind of the theme with uh, distance learning and, and, and kind of just learning new things every day with technology and everything. So um, let's get started. So um, we're here with, for 10 minutes with Bemidji State University. Lindsay, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself, talk about your background, talk about um, maybe how you got into your role, um, and we'll get into our questions. Awesome. So my name is Lindsay West. I'm one of the admission representatives for Bemidji State University. Um, today, May 1st, is actually my three-year anniversary with the admissions office, so it's kind of a fun day for me. Congratulations. Um, primarily... Say that again? Congratulations. Thank you. It's flown by. It's, it's kind of <laughs> crazy to think, but it's been a fun ride. Um, so with my territory, I work with mainly like Southeast Minnesota. Um, so it's always a pleasure to come over to Andover and visit with students. Um, and basically as an admissions rep, um, I work with prospective students. Um, so if you're interested in BSU, I'm here to answer questions, um, help you through the application process, just kind of being your go-to person. You know, if you have questions about BSU in general or how to apply or scholarships or financial aid, um, I do my best to answer them or I always get you in touch with somebody on campus that can help answer your questions. So I'm just kind of like that um, support system initially kind of through that college search process. Um, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, so let me, uh, I mean, we kind of talked about it a little bit, but so maybe the obvious question is how has uh, COVID-19 and everything that's going on, how has that impacted students? Like, are there support in place? Are there support systems in place? Or what is that, what does campus look like right now? Yeah, so um, students are wrapping up their spring semester right now. I think today is the first day of finals. So obviously everything got switched over to online. Um, it's It's been challenging, but we're definitely doing our best to stay as connected with our students as possible. I know faculty um, are reaching out in any way that they can to just be a support system. Um, a lot of flexibility going on, obviously, but they're, they're definitely there to help students kind of finish the semester strong. That's been a huge priority for campus is, you know, the health and safety of everybody on campus, um, our students, and then just ensuring that everybody can graduate on time um, or they can finish their semester on time. So those are kind of our priorities, um, obviously for prospective students, um, it's been kind of a bummer because a lot of students haven't been able to physically come to campus um, to tour or do anything like that. But we do have virtual tours on our website. So if you are interested, um, we've got a couple of those. Stephanie is one of our university ambassadors. She led a tour. Um, so that is available on our website. That's awesome. I think kind of the theme for everybody is flexibility, right? Like you just kind of make it work and you're doing the best and um, people, I think it's good for people to hear like support is there and that's what it's all about right now. So th those are awesome, awesome things that Bemidji's doing. Um, so uh, clearly there's some great opportunities and programs um, at Bemidji State. If you had to give, you know, the elevator pitch, I like to call it, like you, you've never known the person you're riding up the elevator with hasn't heard of Bemidji State before, what, what would be your pitch to them? Yeah. Um, so just right off the bat, we're about four hours north of the Twin Cities. Um, Bemidji State University is located on Lake Bemidji. Um, so we're pretty fortunate for our location. If students have any interest in the outdoors whatsoever, whether it's um, going out to the nearby parks, if you like to go hunting or fishing, um, we have a bike path that goes all the way around Bemidji. So kind of any interest level on the outdoors, we're very much your Northwoods Lake Country campus. Um, we are a public four-year institution, so we have about 5,000 students, um, which is, it puts us in a medium-sized category, but we're definitely like medium, we're on the smaller side. Um, <laughs> we have about 60 different majors. Um, our student-to-faculty ratio is 19 to 1, so a lot of students really like Bemidji State for that size. It's very comfortable to them. They get to know their faculty and professors um, and just kind of not feel like they're lost in the shop. Um, and I always tell students sometimes you're going to fit in at a bigger school it's what you're going to thrive in sometimes you're you're not and that's why it's always nice to you know keep your options broad and kind of determine you know is a smaller school for me is a medium one for me or do I want something like massive 
Um, but Bemidji kind of falls on that smaller medium size. Um, the other cool thing about BSU is our banded tuition. Um, so basically students can take up to 18 credits in a semester and they only pay for the first 12. Um, so typically, you know, kind of students average about a 15 credit semester load for that four year graduation track. It's just kind of a nice perk for a little more bang for your buck. You can have those 15 credits, but you stop paying after 12. And a great way to maybe even like pair that for a minor or like to double up somewhere along the line. That's a super, super nice perk that you guys have for sure. Yeah, I was a business major at PSU. So a little bit of back backstory. I graduated from Stillwater Area High School. Um, so kind of nearby the Andover area. And then I chose to go to BSU for a lot of those reasons. I love the location, big fan of the cost. Um, business was my major, but I also minored in psychology. And when I look back at like how many credits I took every semester and what my tuition costed, I definitely feel like I, I got a free minor because I was able sure. to take a couple classes every semester and knock that out. Yeah, so this is maybe one of the, it's kind of a hard question, but like what would you say are the three most popular programs or what are like, you know, maybe sometimes we, we word it out like, what is Bemidji known for? You know, like what are those three kind of um, top three, if you'd call it whatever at Bemidji? Absolutely. Um, I believe business is our largest major, um, just with the number of students enrolled in the program, um, but we're probably really, really known for our education. So Bemidji State started off as a teacher's college back in 1919. Um, so it's our longest running major. A lot of students that I meet with, they have some teacher in their high school or they've come across a teacher who went to BSU. Um, so education's big just because of our reputation, but business is really huge just in the number of students. Um, but other, other really popular programs at Bemidji um, are biology programs, criminal justice, um, nursing, as well as psychology. Um, but some of like our unique programs, um, just being in Bemidji, being on the lake, being in the Northwoods, we've got wildlife biology and aquatic biology. Those are, those are kind of um, niche programs for BSU because of our location. Um, but we also have exhibit design. Um, so we're the only four year undergrad um, degree available in the entire country for exhibit design. So our students are highly sought after in that program. Um, again, our location, we have indigenous studies as an option, and then we also have creative and professional writing. So those are just some of the majors that come to mind as far as like popularity and numbers, but also in uniqueness. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, you talked about some of these things, but anything like any highlights to student life, campus life, things that you're like, hey, this is a, a pretty unique thing or a pretty special thing that Bemidji offers? Um, yeah, so getting involved on campus is always encouraged. Um, there's so many benefits to finding something outside of the classroom. You're going to meet a lot more students. You can gain some skills outside of the classroom, um, access to some leadership opportunities, you know, building that resume, you know, take advantage of your time in college. Yeah, you're there to study and you're there for academics, but there's so much more to take advantage of to really get a good experience. Um, we have over 100 different clubs and organizations. Some of them are like more like department related. So for example, there's a psych club, a criminal justice club, um, but other ones fall under like a special interest. So we've got, um, we have our BSU bass fishing team. We have our trap team. There's a dance team. Um, so there's kind of more like interest based ones. Um, there's also a ton of musical opportunities at BSU. So like, for example, joining the choir, being in a band ensemble, um, you don't actually have to major in music or minor in music to have that access. Um, so that's a big draw for students. You know, if you've played band in middle school and high school and you, you have a passion for it, but it's not really what you want to major in, we still highly encourage students to follow their passions. Um, and so we don't limit it to just music majors. Yeah, that's awesome. I think one of the things that maybe high school students and high school um, families don't ask enough about is like how else to get involved while on campus. Like the major is just a sliver of their time in the day, right? Or their coursework in their major and all those things. And there's so many things to um, bolster that resume that are that maybe don't always get talked about. So I'm glad that you were able to address some of those things. Um, Let's, yeah. Before we finish up on our questions, let's get to the, the fun part, the, the quick fire, rapid fire questions here. So let's talk about your favorite college experience. What was uh, something that stood out for you? Um, well, I have a few. I mean, I loved my time at BSU. Um, I really enjoyed my freshman year. 
it's really an irreplaceable experience. The people that I met my freshman year, I'm still close with to this day. Um, yeah, I wish I had my own bathroom. Yeah, I wish I had my own space. And you know what? I have. You're always going to have that later on in life. Take advantage of a dorm experience um, whenever you can, even if it's just for a year. Um, BSU also, I was able to take some fun classes. So I'm a huge water fanatic. I, I mean, I was drawn to Bemidji because we were on a lake. Um, so I took scuba diving as well as sailing. Um, so those are just fun classes I was able to take at BSU. Again, woohoo, banded tuition. That's what allowed me to do that. Um, but then for one of our classes, I was actually able to spend two weeks in Hawaii over our winter break one year. Um, so that's a cool like experience I had through BSU. And then obviously the biggest one is probably my study abroad experience. Um, I took advantage of our Euro Spring program at BSU. So it's five weeks of study at Oxford. Um, and then I did three weeks of independent travel with one of my really close friends. Um, so that was an unforgettable experience. You can kind of see some of my postcards from my travels. Yeah. I hung them up on my wall. Um, <laughs> so definitely, I mean, I had a great experience. I was really involved on campus. I had a student worker job. Um, so I, I really, I really enjoyed it. And I took advantage of everything that they had to offer. Yeah, so um, two weeks in Hawaii during the winters in Bemidji doesn't sound like a bad gig either, right? No, I got a ring in the new year wearing shorts and it was, I mean, it was crazy. I spent, we spent, um, I think two nights camping on a black sand beach. We went to a green sand beach. Um, it just, I got to swim with sea turtles with like yeah. the local Hawaii. Like, it was so cool. And For sure. that I would have never had an opportunity to see Hawaii kind of off the grid. Like, we we did things very much off the grid. It, it was for um, kind of like a people in the environment course um, that was actually required for graduation. And yeah. there's a ton of different options for the people in the environment. I just took advantage of the Hawaii excursion one. And it was worth yeah. it. Good for you. So a um, couple quick ones here before we end. Um, so families coming up to visit, any uh, must-see restaurants, things to do around town, um, any favorites that you want to recommend? Yes. Um, first and foremost, you got to get your picture with Paul and Babe. Um, that's a big one for everybody who comes to visit Bemidji. If you end up if you end up attending BSU, I'm sure you'll have many pictures with Paul and Babe. Um, <laughs> It's, it seems like it's dorky and cheesy, but they're awesome. All of us do it. It's what it's a thing here. Um, I mentioned the bike path that goes around like Bemidji. You want you can bike it, you can rollerblade it, longboard, whatever. It's kind of a cool thing to do. Um, we're surrounded by state parks. So one thing I recommend to visiting families is if you have never been to the headwaters where the start of the Mississippi is, that's really cool, especially if you live um, anywhere near the Mississippi as it flows down, it's kind of cool to be where it where it all begins and what it looks like. Um, as far as food and drink goes, we've got a ton to offer. I always recommend places that you know aren't offered like anywhere else. Um, we have Bar Two Hundred Nine, that's great. Canterbury get Coffee. The Tony, get the Tony Burger at Two Hundred Nine. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. So Two Hundred Nine has a good reputation here. Um, Canterbury Coffee, we have a lot of pizza places, Keith, Dave's Pizza. Um, if you're into Irish food, Bridges Pub is a good one. Um, there's so many more though, but those are just Perfect. some that come to mind. Awesome. So what a uh, quarantine binge watches, quarantine podcast, what have you been, what's been burning your time here? <laughs> um, I finally finished The Office all the way through. Um, I started a long time ago and I would just watch an episode here or there. I hunkered down and finished that, so that's exciting. Um, Great use of I, quarantine time. I know. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's the best. <laughs> yeah, so that one was a big one for me. Good, good. Um, so just in closing here, anything from BSU or um, maybe advice that you have for families, anything that you just, that we missed or that you would like to share with families watching? Um, my biggest thing right now, um, especially if you're kind of a junior, um, this is, is going to be a crazy ride for you and my... Uh, we're going to be here to support you in any way that we can, but take advantage of any type of virtual college fairs. So I know there's a big college fair happening Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, um, and BSU is participating in that along with a number of other colleges, but anytime that you can experience something virtual, like that's kind of your foot in the door, take advantage of them, especially now, because, you know, if you can start doing virtual 
like like I mentioned, BSU, we have virtual tour links on our website so you can kind of see campus. I would recommend starting that with all your other colleges that you're interested in because when you when you can finally get physically get it on campus, you'll have a, a good idea of which ones are your priorities, which ones do you want to go to. Um, so try and take advantage of the virtual college fairs or the virtual tours. Um, for any seniors, you know, if you've already applied and been accepted to schools and you're you're starting to make your final decisions, pay close attention to your email. Um, there's going to be updates happening all summer long. I, I know we have a lot of housing updates coming in the near future with everything. Um, so just pay attention to communications um, and try and stay up to date as possible because I know at BSU and I'm sure other colleges, we're trying to keep communication a priority so everybody knows what's going on, what's happening, what can you expect. Things are changing as we know, so we're just trying to stay on top of it. Awesome. Great advice. It was uh, super, super informative, and uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of Bemidji State. You know that. I spent uh, two amazing years there. I loved every bit of it, and uh, I miss it every time. I love going up there and visit. So uh, thanks for spending 10 minutes with us. We did pretty good. It was actually 14, a little over 14 minutes long. So we, awesome. we, we did really good. So thanks, Lindsay. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity.